All right, guys. Um, I'm continuing my series of joystick uh, informative videos and reviews for you. Today I have, well actually let me show it to you. This is the Hori Real Arcade Pro 1, meaning this is the first one that was ever released. Um, this one is actually for the PlayStation 2. And yes, I still have it. The reason I still have it is because up until just a couple of years ago, a lot of people still played a lot of the most popular fighting games on PlayStation 2 because those were the best versions. For example, uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2, third, uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, uh, you know, the, the PS2 had the definitive versions of those games. So, anyway, what I want to show you is this stick is unique in a couple of ways. First of all, just to be completely honest with everyone, this is version 2. There were two versions of this stick that were released. The first version actually had a metallic um, silver top that was reflective, so you could even like see yourself on the top of the stick. This is version 2 where they changed that. It is still kind of a silverish, but as you can see, it kind of has a pattern on it. I'm trying to turn it different angles so the light will shine differently off of it for you. See how it kind of has lines going across it uh, horizontally? Um, but anyway, the reason they did this is a lot of people complained about that first design. Because, rightly so, what would happen is you'd play, and as you're playing, you'd smear shit all over the stick. Like, it would be all nasty looking because it would have grease or dirt or whatever from your hands as you play. So they made this second version where it really, you couldn't see that kind of a stuff on the stick. And people liked that a lot better. Um, as you can see, all kinds of turbo switches here. So you can make any of your buttons a turbo button just by holding it down. Um, the stock version of this stick does not come with Sanwa or Samitsu parts. It comes with parts manufactured by Hori. But I upgraded this stick. These are all official Sanwa buttons and a Sanwa joystick. So this is a, an upgraded version of the real Arcade Pro 1. Um, it is heavy, just like the other sticks that we've looked at so far that did it on purpose. And remember, this was one of the first models of like a home Japanese style joystick. So they wanted to have some weight to keep it down. But the other thing about this you'll notice is that the button layout is different than the other sticks we've looked at. Well, the story behind this is that the original uh, Real Arcade Pro had this button layout. And so when you played, let me actually show you where I put my hands. I would not play it, for example, on the inside buttons here, the buttons closest to the joystick, because that's really, uh, that's not the standard layout. The standard layout for this stick was you would use the outside buttons, and as you can see, that would be more similar to like the US's six button layout. They're more set up like that. Um, what ended up happening was this style stick actually was, uh, people started complaining about that as well, because in Japanese arcade cabinets, this six button layout is a lot similar, but it's on the, it's closer to the joystick. It would have been the inside six buttons. So people started saying, why did they do that? Why did they put them on the outside instead of the inside? So there was kind of a weird time, a year or two, when these were selling out and a lot of people weren't playing, uh, you know, the PS2 games anymore. People were upgrading from this to the Hori Real Arcade Pro 2, and the only real difference between those two sticks was that the Real Arcade Pro 2 had a similar button layout to the Mad Cat sticks that we've looked at so far, and also a button layout that you're going to see when I show you the rest of these sticks. Basically what they did, they took these six outside, moved them in, and then there's two more on the side here. So it eliminated these two buttons, pushed this over, and there were two more there, because this is more of a natural button layout for your fingers if you are playing, you know, in a tournament, rather, uh, you know, like that, rather than the inside. It's kind of a weird, a weird design. So anyway, this joystick was pretty damn good, very easy to mod. That was the cool thing about this stick. Like, it had some bolts. All you have to do is take the back off the stick, undo the bolts here. You could easily, easily buy the buttons online. You could pop in the buttons, just pop them right into this stick. And the joystick as well wasn't very hard to mod. It just had a, a metal plate that you would mount the joystick onto on the inside. Um, there were several models of this stick. Like I said, there was the metallic, there was this one, and there was a third one that was released when the game Capcom Fighting Jam, uh, or I believe it was called Capcom Fighting Evolution in the U.S., um, when that game was released, the, the, there was a third version of the stick with the characters from that game on the stick. I actually owned one of the silver metallics, one of the Capcom Fighting Jams, and one of these. Um, so I went through all of them, but eventually I ended up giving them away. Some of them broke, and like I gave them away to my friends who wanted to mod them further, but I didn't really care. And at this point, no one really plays those games. Like, for example, CBS 2 is pretty much any almost completely dead. Um, 
Third Strike, some people do still play it, but for me, I'm pretty much like retired from it. If I play it, I'll play it in a tournament, but I'm not going to actually play it at home. So I really don't need this joystick. And the only other game, you know, outside of that that anyone plays is Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which the best version is on Dreamcast, so this thing wouldn't even work on that without a converter. Um, but anyway, I held on to it because I realized, you know, in the future I might want to play some of those older games, and it's always nice to have that kind of a joystick around. So this was, again, this is the Hori Real Arcade Pro version 1. This is the very first version that came out. Now, I told you version 2, the only difference was that they moved the buttons over and added 2 to the end. What we're going to look at next is actually Real Arcade Pro 3, which uh, basically what the 3 is, is the one that they designed for the PlayStation 3. So we're going to check that out next.